Fox News, look, let's keep it real. Uh, in the cable news wars, it's still dominating overall in the ratings. Uh, they're still beating MSNBC, CNN handily. Now, their audience is incredibly old. So a couple of years ago, we did a story about how Bill O'Reilly's average age of his audience was, and I'm not kidding, 71 years old. The dude is basically doing a show at a senior citizen center. He's like the most popular act at a senior citizen center near you, okay? But, you know, give the man his due. He was getting near 3 million uh, viewers a night at one point, even if they're, you know, uh, unbelievably old, right? Uh, now, he's slipped uh, below that number at this point, and they're starting to slip slide a little bit. Now, it's not the end, but it might be the beginning of the end, especially when you look at the demos. Now, if you're not in the TV business, you, I'm sure there's no reason for you to be familiar with what they mean by the audience demo. That's a demographic, and for whatever crazy reason, uh, advertisers have decided that the most desirable demographic in America is people aged 25 to 54. Here's the problem for Fox News. That's decades younger than their audience. So over the last year, here's what's happened to O'Reilly and Hannity's audience. Hannity has lost an unbelievable 35% in the demo. And O'Reilly has lost 26% in the demo. So now I think this is a, a combination of different events. Uh, number one, their audience just keeps getting older and older and older, so they have less people in that 25 to 54 bracket. And then number two, I, I've now heard from several conservatives that they feel duped by Fox News. The 2012 election was a big wake-up call. It burst their alternate reality, because Fox News had kept telling them, oh, don't worry, Romney's going to win, it's going to be a landslide, L listen to Dick Morris, listen to Karl Rove, listen to O'Reilly and Hannity talking about, oh, don't worry, we got this thing figured out, oh, Obama, he's a you know, foreigner, no, everybody hates him, the whole country despises him, don't worry, we got this thing on lockdown, Romney's definitely going to win, and then whammo, Romney got his ass knocked out. I mean, he lost by five million votes, and it was landslide proportions in the Electoral College. And so that's a reality you can't argue with, because I got news for you. Mitt Romney is not the President of the United States of America. Barack Obama is, and you just can't deny that. You might deny that he's an American, you might deny all these crazy things they say at Fox News, but you can't deny the reality that he's still the President. So that was kind of a moment for the conservative audience, like, hey, maybe these guys aren't being straight up with us. Maybe there's a little bit of an issue here. And so the decline begins. Now, they're not dumb people at Fox News. Roger Ailes is, a, in a lot of ways, a brilliant programmer, and maybe he'll figure a way out of this. And he fired Dick Morris and Sarah Palin and cleaned house in some ways and brought in some new people. So maybe he'll turn it around. But right now, it doesn't look good for them. Their audience is more skeptical of them and is older and getting older by the day. So enjoy the lead while you have it. Let's see how it turns out for you.